What's good, guys? This is Caleb, and this is some 42 and 0 L118 sniper gameplay that I got a little while ago. Me and my buddy decided that we were going to go for Moabs, so I went specialist, and he went for the support kill streak. So he pretty much had a UAV up for me all the time, and he helped me out with the ballistic vest a bunch of times. So that was pretty sick. Uh, I'm not really talking about COD. I'm not really playing COD these days. What I've been doing is playing Diablo 3, and I'm, I'm pretty pleased with Diablo 3. Diablo 3 came out May 15th, uh, and today it is May 22nd, so it's been out for a week, and I'm already max level. I was max level two days ago. I pretty much have been playing as much as possible. I didn't really have to work this week. I worked once, but that's it. And, yeah, it's been quite a bit of fun. There's some issues with the game, of course. Mainly because there's nothing to do at max level yet. Well, there sort of is. You're supposed to grind the hardest difficulty, but you can't really do it without any gear. And to get gear, you need money. But it's hard to get money because you don't have any gear to get money. So, really, you need a little bit of money to be able to get some decent items to be able to start Inferno. But the only way to do that is to get auction house items. And the auction house is so inflated right now that you can't actually purchase items. Like, people have things up for 2 billion in-game gold. That kind of gold doesn't exist in the game yet. It's like that Austin Powers movie where he goes back in time and tells uh, like the UN that he demands 6 billion dollars. And they're like, uh, it's 1960. We don't actually have that amount of money in the game well in real life but yeah as of this point there is not two billion dollars in the game i mean maybe there is if everyone accumulated total like pooled all the money that anyone's ever gotten together maybe there's two billion because right now i've i've reached like 1.5 million on my total grab of every all the money like there's just no way that anyone can afford anything on the auction house right now. So, once that gets under control, I mean, things will become easier to do. So Diablo 3 uh, is like the most pre-purchased game in all of history. I'm pretty sure that's correct. I'm not going to Google it or anything, but I believe. And uh, so, if it's the most pre-purchased game, everyone already had it downloaded online and everything. So the servers at midnight, well, like as soon as the game was up, it came up for 3 a.m. for me. You couldn't actually play. There was error 37, too many people trying to sign on. It was a big meme and stuff. I have another video about it, but it's really long, and I don't think anyone's ever going to watch it. But that's all good. Um, yeah, so midnight, you couldn't actually play. So my team, me, my brother my other brother and my buddy that is playing in this Call of Duty game with me, Smurf669. Uh, we stayed up, uh, it was probably till 5 a.m. when we finally got on the servers. Actually, Smurf got in, he was one of the few people that got in, like, probably at, like 3.30. So he was playing, he was like level 4 by the time we got to play. And, uh, yeah, we just rolled through normal really quickly. No, I forget how lo how far we got that night. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I don't want to spoil anything. So I won't. But uh, I got to a certain point in Act 1, normal. And the storyline upset me. So I turned off my computer and went to bed. I was genuinely upset. And I'm still disappointed with that curve in the storyline to this point. But, oh well. Life goes on, just not for everyone, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, so I rolled a barb, barbarian, uh, probably my favorite class that I've seen so far, all in all. And normal and nightmare were pretty much easy cakes for a barb. You just run up to mobs or monsters, and you. You just hit them and you use life steal so that whenever they hurt you, you're just gaining life back and you don't actually die, and it's really awesome. But uh, there were some glitches with the barb. Like, 
I was using Whirlwind for a while, and then there was a bug that using Whirlwind would actually disconnect you from the server. So there's a few times when you like start to fight a boss, and then all of a sudden I get kicked out of the server. I'm like, oh my god, what is this? So that really sucked, and I think I lost the quest, and we had to like redo it. But the party I went with was uh, a barbarian, myself, a monk, Smurf, and then we had two wizards, my brother and a good friend of ours. And uh, yeah, we really tore shit up. I mean, me and the monk would just tank stuff, and the monk can heal, and I had a uh, war cry that regenerated a lot of life per second. So it was pretty sweet, because we wouldn't die, and then the wizards would just... AOE damage everything and we really tore through the game and then the barb has a lot of movement increasing abilities so if you wanted to you can run through the game and I'm gonna be honest act to hell I we rushed through it I went and uh, just ran through a lot of it cost a lot of money and repairs but it was worth it cuz I fucking hate Act 2. Act 2 in Diablo sucks. Always has sucked. I didn't like it in Diablo 2, I don't like it in Diablo 3. I don't know why it's so hard, but it is. Um. Yeah. But, after defeating Hell, actually, Hell Diablo was one hell of a fight. I mean, uh. Hell, Act 4, and Boss was one hell of a fight. I had to, it was it was like a half an hour fight at least. He goes into this phase where he summons shadows and then you kill the shadows and then he goes out of that phase once for a while. And then by that time the two wizards had died a bunch. It was me and two wizards in the fight. And I was running around resurrecting them. And I was avoiding all of Diablo's hits and then hitting them a little bit and going and healing. And it took a long time. But uh, we did it. And then uh, all their gear was two damage, so they were doing like one, one damage per attack or spell. And then I, uh, I dropped some weapons from my inventory so that they could actually do some damage. It was pretty funny. And then after that, I mean, I really earned the right. Like I, I clutched that whole Diablo fight boss fight. But then I couldn't go to Inferno because I was still level 59. So I had to grind a little bit and get to 60. And then I try to play Inferno, and I literally can't do it. My melee barbarian just can't. He gets hit too hard, and I can't steal enough life. Like, usually I just surround myself in enemies, and then you just life gain like a boss, and they don't kill you. But Inferno, they just do so much damage. I mean, I've picked up some gear since then and I really haven't tried to do Inferno uh, I've been kinda laying off hoping that the auction house goes down so that I could just gear myself or whatever but uh, yeah I couldn't like as soon as I hit 60 I mean I couldn't play in Inferno but the two wizards that I was playing with they're like yeah man you just you just like shoot them and you kite and uh, like as a melee character you can't hurt people from a distance you have to get up close and if you're up close then they can hit you and uh, them hitting you is not good because they do a lot of damage and you can't hold the damage so what I ended up doing was I tried a throwing weapons back so I could actually hurt them from range but barbarian is really not built to do that and it doesn't work at all so it's been uh, it's been a fun week that's for sure. Really hoped you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I mean, I didn't really talk about it, but it was pretty cool, I think. And yeah, I look forward to making more Diablo 3 videos and talking about Diablo 3, because Diablo 3 is awesome. Peace out.